Wild About Books by Judy Sierra, illustrated by Mark Brown. I know summer reading's almost over, but if you love books, it doesn't matter what time of year it is. It started the summer of 2002 when the Springfield librarian, Molly McGrew, by mistake, drove her bookmobile into the zoo. Molly opened the door and she let down the stair, turned on the computer, and sat in her chair. At first, all the animals watched from a distance, but Molly could conquer the strongest resistance. By reading aloud from the good Dr. Seuss, she quickly attracted a mink and a moose, a wombat, an orx, a lemur, a lynx, eight elephant calves and a family of skinks. Oh boy, here they come. In a flash, every beast in the zoo was stampeding to learn all about this new something called reading. Forsaking their niches, their nests, and their nooks, they went wild, simply wild, about wonderful books. Choosing thin books and fat books and cat in the hat books and new books and true books and heaps of how-to books. Giraffes wanted tall books and little crickets wanted small books. While geckos could only read stick to the wall books. The pandas demanded more books in Chinese. Molly filled their request, always eager to please. She even found water fruit, water fruit books for the otter who never went swimming without Harry Potter. Raccoons read alone and baboons read in bunches and llamas read dramas while eating their lunches. Hyenas shared jokes with red belly snakes and they hissed <laughs> and howled until their bellies ate. A tree kangaroo who adored Nancy Drew oh, began solving mysteries right there in the zoo, such as why were the bandicoots books overdue? Gently Molly taught lessons in treating books right for the boa constrictor squeezed crictor too tight. Baby bunnies mucked up goodnight moon with their paws and giant termites devoured the Wizard of Oz. And Bear's love of books was completely outrageous. They licked all the pictures right off of the pages. Must have been good. Tasmanian devils found books so exciting that soon they had given up fighting for writing. They made up adventures so thrilling and new that the others decided to be authors too. Pythons wrote with their tails, penguins wrote with their bills, and porcupines wrote with their quills. At the new insect zoo, bugs were scribbling haiku. The scorpion gave each a stinging review. The walking stick, you want to hear what he said? This is what he wrote. A cannibal twig silently devours a leaf, eating, not eaten. Oh, pretentious, said the scorpion. The dung beetle wrote, Roll a ball of dung, any kind of poo will do. Baby beetle bed. Uh -huh. Stinks. This is what the millipede wrote. I dig for treasure in my enchanted castle. A rotten apple. Boring. And lastly, this is what the giant hissing cockroach said. Well, what he wrote. redundant. <laughs> but as the cheetah's new novel began to take shape, 
He read chapters each night to the Barbary ape. And although the gazelle couldn't spell very well, like everyone else, she had stories to tell. Imagine the hippo's enormous surprise when her memoir was given the Zulitzer Prize. Oh, yes, yes, go girl, you wrote that. Oh, with so many new books, Molly knew what to do. She hired 12 beavers, a stork, and a new to build a branch library right there at the zoo. Then the animals cried, we can do it ourselves. We can check the books out. We can put them on shelves. And they did, and they do, up to this very day. Three cheers for the zoo -brary. I I didn't hear you say hip hip hooray. When you visit the zoo now, you surely won't mind if the animals seem just a bit hard to find because they're snug in their niches, their nest, and their nooks, going wild, simply wild, about wonderful books. Wild about books? And though summer reading is probably over in your town, it doesn't mean that you've got to wear a frown. Just think of it this way. Books are there every day in the library waiting for somebody like you to come their way. So check out a book because we can all go wild about something that we love so much. Get in a book because it's always a good time to read. Always a great time to read a book. I'm your host, Laka Bridges, and thank you for tuning in for Tuesday Tales with Laka. And I'll see you next week, 7 o'clock, same time, same place, for another wonderful tale and wonderful adventure. Stay tuned. See you soon.